Okay, so in this technique, I'd like you to start on your back, feet flat on the floor, knees are bent. Now we're going to pop the arms out to the side to make like a T shape. Okay, but if you've ever had any shoulder problems or you're recently suffering with anything such as bursitis, I'd rather you bring the arms down to here and work with this range for the time being. Okay, so let's take the start position. So what you will see is this left hand, my palm is down, and the right hand, the palm is up. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just start to increase the range of movement here. Okay, so imagine that you've got, like your arms are like a rolling pin as it were. So, just start to make the movement bigger and start to incorporate the head. So let the head turn to the palm up. Okay, so we're just keeping this movement going. And right now, what I want you to do is pause where you're looking at the palm up. Okay, now in this pose, I'd like you to take your legs in the opposite direction. So you're going to continue to stay with your feet in contact with the ground. So they'll be constantly um, moving from inside to the outside of the foot. Okay, so this is the exhale pose. Then you're going to inhale, keep the arms moving with the legs, and then you're going to exhale and take it down to the other side. Inhale and exhale. So this is why it's really important to have four breaths in and four breaths out to keep the movement nice and controlled. Now, as the shoulders start to loosen, Focus on the fingertips walking across the floor. Now, when you do this, you'll notice that that actually starts to increase the movement through your shoulder. I want you to notice, for example, this shoulder, as I do it, can you see how we're rolling the shoulder forward? So we're creating quite a tightness and contraction through the, the chest muscle, whereas we're lengthening through um, the back here. And yet when I then turn this way, we're then lengthening through the chest muscle and we're contracting through the muscles in the shoulder blade at the back. Okay, so constantly we're contracting and we're also releasing the muscles, different sides of the body, because that's how we walk, that's how we operate. Okay, so we'll just do one more movement on both sides. So inhale and then exhale, ring out the waistline and let all that air just empty as you take the legs out to the side. That's good. And then come back to the center. Excellent.